wake up in your mind, get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. Good morning, beautiful family. Yes, we are, we are moving forward. We are staying consistent and we are doing what God has called us to do. Remember, we're, we're steadily moving and changing the, what, what, what information are we really going to be true about the information that we take in? You know, I'm challenging you guys. This is the season of restoration. This is Operation Restoration 2019. And for my covenant partners that I told you I was going to do it, there's the shirt right there. Oh, wait, lean a little bit. <laughs> there's the shirt right there. Operation 2019, Galatians chapter 6, verse 1. Operation 2019, Operation Restoration 2019. Get yours today. It's available for you. Operation Restoration. But it's not just about the shirt. It's, it's about are we doing what it takes to restore people in their lives? Are we really doing and saying to people, hey, this is your season for restoration. <laughs> this is your, your season to be restored. This is your season. And it's not trying to give people physical things. It's trying to give people a peace of mind. Restore someone's mind this week. I told you, you had to let somebody off the hook to restore them. Remember Galatians chapter 6. Let's, we weren't there on, on Tuesday, but let's, let's go there. Amen. Galatians chapter 6. Just to be on the same page and, and, and not to be redundant, but to be on the same page. Because we're talking about restoring people. We're, we're talking about restoring relationship. We're talking about restoring God as the true, the true lover of men, the true creator of men, the true motivator of men. Galatians chapter 6, it says, brethren, if any man is overtaken in any trespass, Number one is to tell you, don't judge what people are going through. We all are going through something. Theirs may look greater, but because they didn't told everybody, you learn to keep your stuff to yourself. And your thing is not as great because nobody knows your business. Uh -huh, let's keep it real. The only difference between most of us is most people run their mouth and some of us became conscious to keep your mouth shut. That's a whole nother message. Brethren, if any man is overtaken in any trespass, we have to, first of all, don't think you are in control of what trespasses you can, you can judge or you can call. Brethren, if any man, man or woman, that's any man, if any man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, no, not you that are physical, because you remember the, the ones that are physical that wanted to, that had the stones about the, uh, uh, about the stone, the, the woman that they had been prostituting with. And Jesus said, no, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm not telling you that that's not the, the lawful thing to do, but you who is without sin cast the first stone. See, anyone in any trespass is not your business. Your business is Operation Restoration 2019 that you restore. It says right here, brethren, if any man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit. Oh, my God, nobody want to get on that. In a spirit, oh, spirit of gentleness. We always want to beat people down and hammer them and, and get on them. Don't you know? You are just like them. You just didn't get caught. Your business just didn't get put out there. That's the only difference between most of us is that the ones that got caught was slipping and the ones that didn't, that is hidden. But it was the same sin. It was the same stuff. And when God comes, you better watch this. When God comes, just because you didn't go to the county jail, but you did the same crime, when God comes, if you have not asked him for forgiveness of all trespasses, you will be judged. Come on, change your mind today. Stop thinking it's an easy route. Oh, yeah, you know the question? We talked about that on Wednesday. Once, uh, uh, once saved, always saved. Yes, in heaven, but not here on earth. <laughs> you got to get your life on. You got to live right on earth so you can now, watch this, make it to the promised land. Make it to the place where God dwells. Make it, but you don't have to wait till tomorrow. You can have it right now. 
Those of you, brethren, if any man is overtaken in any trespasses, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself lest you also be tempted. Here's another side note. You're going through stuff that you've seen somebody else go through and you really don't deserve it, but you should have kept your mouth to yourself. I would let that one catch up. You should not have put your mouth on that person. Just because you don't think they're anointed don't mean they are. God says keep your mouth off his anointed. I don't care what someone's going through. You are not the judge or the jury to say who is God's chosen. I'm his chosen because I'm working to be his chosen. I'm trying to get in line and keep quiet so I can be his chosen. And then help somebody to know if you stop talking about somebody so much, you wouldn't go through the hell that you're going through. Oh, oh wait, don't throw no rocks. <laughs> oh man, don't, 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 don't get upset. But you have to know, you have to know family that when you are in a state to restore, that means you've been restored. That means you've been through. That you got the same testimony. You know you accept it. That you got off the hook, but not to be better than anybody, but to make you equal with them. That you could say, brother, or oh, just a soft little touch. You know what? I can be honest with you. I've been through the same thing. And yeah, you know, it's not all on the radio and all that because I left the party five minutes earlier. I got out the car at the at the burger stand. I didn't go here. I didn't do just that one moment, that one decision. I'm going to tell you what it was for me when my mom and my daddy pulled up in the car and said, boy, get out that car. That was my first saving. Then the next time they sent my sister down the street to tell me, daddy didn't told you. That was my first saving. The third time, I, I didn't listen to them. I didn't listen to my sisters. I didn't listen to nobody. And guess what? I was in the back of that police car because I kept wanting to run my mouth over someone else that had more better experience, more better wisdom, and understanding that you must do right if you want to receive right. You must be in accordance with the God's will if you want to experience God's will. We say it all the time, not my will, but God's will be done. But if you still trying to do your will, God's will will never come. You just talking. <laughs> no, 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 no. We got to stop talking so much and restore more. How does it say? It says restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. See, a spirit of gentleness is uh, is Mark 11. No, Mark 12. Here you see. I know because that was the question. What's the spirit of gentleness, Pastor E? Here, let me show you the spirit of gentleness. Mark 12, verse 20. Let's start at 28. We don't get the story all the way together. Here's the spirit of gentleness. It says, you, now you remember the story that they were trying to catch Jesus in some way that they could condemn him. You know, they never, they never, they had a problem with him way back in, in Matthew 2 at the synagogue when he made himself equal to God. You remember? They was upset with him then. Then when he then, then when he then when he uh, saved the, the prostitute, they was upset with him. Then when they stepped in, when he stepped in at the uh, in John five at the at the at the pool and told the man, "Would you make? Would, would you walk? Would, would you? Do you want to be made whole?" They had a problem with him all along, and now they finally are trying to get down to it. They're trying to trick him to saying the wrong thing. You better watch your words. Watch this. Mark 12, it says, then one of the scribes, verse 28, came and having heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him. Oh, he thought he was slick. He thought he was smart. He thought he was going to get him on this one. But here, let me show you the spirit of gentleness. And reasoning, and, uh, uh, then one of the scribes came and having heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well, ask him, which is the first commandment of all? First of all, you better not try to add them or put, put a number on them. Okay. You bet you better watch out and just get them all together and not try to just say, well, this is the most important. Let me do this one. Let me show you what's most important. He said, Jesus answered him. The first of all the commandments is hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one side note. He's your God. He's my God. 
He's God the Father. He's God the Son, the God the Holy Ghost. But our God is one. In all of the, 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 the unifying principles, God is one. And he's one God to all of us, house of Israel. He's no better to you than he is to me. I'm not greater to him than you are. You're not greater to me than he is. Guess what? We are all, watch this, God's children. And he loves you just as much as, as he loves me. As a matter of fact, let me just take it another level. He loves you more than he'll ever love me. There's a purpose in your life that mine won't ever live up to. There's a call on your life that you'll be able to reach before I'll ever get there. There are things that God has for you that no one will be able to understand, but no one will be able to rob you of because what God has for you. I know you hear it all the time, but let me give you some substance to what God has for you is for you. First of all, he's one. Say that to yourself this morning. I just realized that God is one. He ain't a God of cars. He's not a God of houses. He's not a God of jewelry. He's not a God. He's one. God is everything. Remember John 1 tells us that God created everything. Nothing was created without him. Nothing, nothing, nothing. From the beginning, from the words of God, everything was created. He's one. Then he says, watch this. The first of all, the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. And then number 30, chapter 30, verse 30 says, And you, you have to understand, it goes from a group to a single one-on-one -on -one commandment. Watch this. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. This is the first commandment. So number one, you got to give God the best love you can because you got to love him in your mind. You got to love him in your heart. You got to love him in your soul. You got to love him in your strength. This is the first commandment. And he says, and the second like is, is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Stop. That doesn't take away from it being 10 commandments. But watch this. When you learn to love God with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your mind, all of your strength. And then love, learn to love your neighbor as yourself. Now, come on. You can go on and testify today. You know you love you some you. Uh-huh. It ain't nobody can beat you in how much you love you. Come on. Keep it real. <laughs> I know you done lost a few steps, but you still love you better than anybody. <laughs> Come on. But now you got to learn to love your neighbor as you love yourself. And he says, none is greater than these. See, when you learn how to love, you won't fornicate. You won't commit adultery. You won't murder. You won't lie. You won't cheat. You won't do. You will not be found unworthy because you know what true love is. You want some more confirmation? John 3, 16, for God so what? <laughs> Loved. You want to know the most important thing that God has ever done for us and the most important thing that Jesus came to show us and the most important thing that now we can walk in and the most important thing you better know about is love. We have to start loving each other a lot more than we do. We, if there's a funeral and we say, oh man, I ain't seen you in so long. That got to stop. We got to stop waiting for tragic moments to get time to spend with each other and fellowship with one another and become on one accord with one another. I need you. You need me. But we can't do it when it's about my love and about your love. It has to be the love of God that you love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. That means everything. You love the Lord. Everything, everything, everything. When lust come up, you don't go, you don't do lustful things because you love the Lord. When craziness comes, you don't act crazy because you love the Lord. When opposition comes, you don't go around, you go through because you love the Lord. When they're talking about you, you don't talk back because you love the Lord. When they're hating on you, you don't hate back. 
you love because you love the Lord. See, when you can get that one in order and when I can get that one in order, oh, we are really making some ground to becoming one accord. See, most people think it's one accord because you might dance and sing like me. That ain't one accord. That's harmony. You, 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 we think it, uh, uh, we love alike because you might learn how to make shirts like me. Uh, uh, that's duplication. You might think that you can love because you might sing like me. No, uh, uh, that's just a sound. But to truly love God, you got to give all of your, watch this, heart. You have to give all of your soul, all of your mind, all of your strength, and they all end up in one place. That's the love of God that separates you from everything that's not of God. That's the love of God that separates you from yourself. That's the love of God that makes you hold yourself accountable. That's the love of God that makes you say no to yourself. That's the love of God that makes you say yes to others, that Jesus is real, that he'll save you. He ain't condemning you. Don't give up. He hasn't given up on you. See, that's the love of God. And if you want to know, watch this. We are talking about restoration today. Operation Restoration 2019 is that if you, may, if, if, if brother, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, who you who are spiritual, see, because if you're, if you're physical, all of you're going to want to do is condemn them. I don't care even if you've done the same thing and you think you right now, you're going to want to condemn them. For us to really be truly about restoring our brothers and, and, restoring, and restoring our sisters, you have to know that it's about love and it's not what you do, it is how you do it. Because he says, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. And here's the warning, considering yourself lest you also be tempted. Don't think you are so, so far removed from your sins that you cannot be taken over again. When you are not treating people the way they need to be treated. My God, all I can do is keep it real with you. That's all I can do is when you are not loving your, loving your neighbor as you love yourself, you are now in a spirit of condemnation. You are now trying to judge someone else instead of judging your own. See, I, you know, I'm getting a lot better daily, 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 daily. I'm going to be honest with you because I'm learning that it says examine your own work. Watch this. Considering yourself, lest you also be, be tempted. Bear one another's burden and so, far, so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks of himself to be something, I had to read this. I had to, to read this. So if anyone thinks of himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one examine his own work, and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. See, most of you don't are not going anywhere because you're waiting on somebody to come pat you on your back. You know what you're doing. You know, you know your work. You don't need me to tell you, oh man, thank you for feeding the homeless. Thank you for doing that. You know your work. Rejoice in yourself. You're wondering why I'm always so happy because I rejoice in myself because I'm not trying to please man. I'm trying to please God. And I know it's not perfect. It's not. I, I, I can attest to you right now. It is not perfect. Everything ain't lined up for me right now. I got things in, in I got things in the file cabinet that need to be deal with. But guess what? That's going to come when it's time to come. But I'm going to rejoice in me. So now you can see the change in me, not on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now see what I'm talking about, but see what, I'm, what, what my actions are doing. And knowing that I am here to restore anyone who failed. Any religion, any language, any geographical place. It's not my call to say who is... The part of the world. That's the biggest part with most religion is that we want to talk about the world that they thought Jesus came for. Yeah, he came for y'all Christians, but he don't come for me. And I'm not beating up on nobody, but don't you know that most religions don't want to follow this because it requires some work. Other religions, you can still have 20 wives and, 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 and side pieces and, and, and doing this and, and you can have this going on in your life. In other religions, you can still denounce this and, and, and do this. But over here in, the, in, in, in this not religion, over here in this lifestyle, you have to change the way you think. 
You change the way you think. You change the way you live. You change the way you live. You change the way you act. You change the way you act. Now you change the way you love. And we cannot restore one another if we are not loving on one another. Oh, the first one, O oh, oh house of Israel, Mark, Mark uh, uh, 12, 28. Oh, hear me. 29. Our God is one. But 30 tells you, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength. And you must become a spiritual being that you now worship him, John 4, 24, worship him in spirit and in truth. You got to get some spirit in you. And you say right now, Pastor E, I, I, I thought I had it. But you've now challenged me, and I think I'm lacking. Well, lift your hands right now. Lift your hands right now. And say, Holy Spirit, forgive me. Forgive me for not taking advantage of you being left here as my comforter, as my guide, and as my life. So, Lord, as you forgive me, please. Rain on me with your spirit. Rain on me with your love. Rain on me with your with your now. That Lord, I will leave this place different than I came. I decree, I declare that I am spiritual now. I decree and declare that I will now walk by faith and not by sight. I decree and declare right now that Lord, I will not walk by the flesh, but I will walk by the spirit. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. Guess what? Now you have been put back in right Standing, you have just been restored. Well, hold on, hold on. It ain't that easy. You can't go backwards, though. You must press towards the mark of restoration. You must press towards the mark of restoration. Operation Restoration 2019. We are about to launch a tour. It may be only a tour from, from L.A. to Linwood to Compton to Southgate and anywhere in California until somebody else want to get involved in Operation Restoration 2019. Galatians chapter 6 verse 1. If any man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. You can do it. Because now you know what gentleness is. Gentleness is loving the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength, and all your soul, all your soul and all your strength. And then loving your neighbor as you love yourself. Very simple, very simple, very simple. It's not hard to love your neighbor as you love yourself because they may be Hispanic. They may be African. They may be a di different uh, culture or anything. That means you can be, you can love them because you know you were loved as a, as an alien. You were loved as someone that wasn't good enough. You say, oh, no, 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 I'm gonna help you. That you know you can love them even though it don't make sense and it don't sound right and it don't make, it don't add up to what you're used to. But you know, restoration has nothing to do with you because you are not in control of restoration. Jesus Christ is. But it's because he lives in me today that I can can restore my brother with the spirit of gentleness. And I ain't going to get tempted because I know that used to be me. I know that, that that used to be me and it won't be me anymore. But guess what? I'm, I don't want it to be you either. Is that we can all move in, 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 the, same, in the same direction. There it is right there. There it is. Operation Restoration. Get yours today. Operation Restoration. Get yours today. We, we're going to flip. We're going to change it around a little bit. We're going to do a little something else special, but there it is. You can get yours today. $15 plus shipping and handling. Or come by Ease Tees and get your own. Operation Restoration. I know Facebook, that the camera, I must didn't clean the camera this morning. It's a little blurry, but Operation Restoration. But on Facebook, it, it looks like the anointing is all over that. Look at that, y'all. It looks like the anointing is just pouring off the white letters. Look. <laughs> Operation Restoration. Put your order in today. You go to Ease Tees for You Now on Facebook. You go to Ease Tees for You uh, now.com you can go to provoke 2000 now.com you can go to my 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 uh my is my my instagram page pastor e2000 you can message me you can inbox me you can do whatever but get you come on support the movement operation restoration 
2019 is going down. But you know what? I, restoration starts with you. It ain't about no shirt. It's about you and now being able to restore somebody. So our challenge is every day in, two, in the year, in the season of 2019, we are working to restore. They're $15. $15 plus shipping and handling. Or if you come to the shop and get it, $15. No, that's a no. That's a twenty. That's a twenty twenty five dollars shirt. It really is. That's vinyl on there. That's that's handmade. That's that's personalized from IMG. There is an IMG logo gonna go on the back on the, on the back uh, neck. Uh, but yeah, fifteen dollars, and you can get your put your order in, put your address in. We'll tell you what the shipping and handling is. Bam, you'll have it in three days. I guarantee it. Operation Restoration two thousand nineteen. But beyond the shirt, what are you gonna do to work? the vision, the work, the purpose, to work the movement. Family, we need to rest we, we need restoration in our land. Most of us are going to places that we go to church that's restoration needed right on the next pew. But you go to church just for you. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't oh, oh, what, I, I, I didn't I didn't know that was you. If the shoe fits where but you go to church for you instead of going to church to see who's really in there broken, who's really going through something, who's really in, in, in the service homeless who's really going through a a, 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 a a hunger situation or a medical situation. And we never ask questions. If you never ask questions, you will never get an answer. And you, if you don't get an answer, you can't make a new decision. So I'm challenging you in, 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 in Operation Restoration 2019 that you restore somebody every day. It may be somebody that's already been passed on. Restore them. Let their spirit go. Let their soul be free. Let, the, let them know that you don't hold it against them anymore. I know they did you wrong. I know. I know. They wasn't right for it. They wasn't right for it. But you know what? Only God can judge. And that's not a song. That's true. And only God will judge. But as soon as I can get out of a judgmental state, and as soon as I can get out of a, a hypocritical mindset, and as soon as I can get out of a, a condemning spirit, then I can truly get closer and know that I'm being effective. For God, I, I truly, my desire is to be effective for God, not to just be playing church and singing songs and jumping around, but to be effective for God, that my, that my fruit is, 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 is plentiful, that as I share, I'm not being drawn out of, you know, people say, why you go to, you, you, you go to two churches, you preaching over there, you're doing, jumping around over here, you go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then you go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, set one Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, on blog talk and you preach all the time that you do wake up, get up, move in your purpose. Where, where do you rest? Uh, well, well, guess what? I'm full of the Holy Spirit. I don't need, I don't need rest. I work the body out to, to get strengthened. I'm eating more healthier that I have some more energy and things like that, but I don't quit. I don't have to, I don't need a Monday off. I got to, I'm trying to grow a business. How can I be off on Mondays and I'm, I'm taking a Monday off? You know, Hey, my, my, my ministry is my business. And if I truly want to be effective, I have to be effective at all times. I, 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 I can't quit. I have to press on. Oh, yeah, that's witnessing for Jesus. Operation Restoration 2019. Get your shirt. We got it up any size. It, you let us know. We'll make it happen for you. Uh, and I think we're going to do a little. I'm, I'm still in the creative mode on that one. And uh, uh, we're, we're going to play with that a little bit more. I like it as is, but it needs a little bling. Maybe I'll put some white bling on the white part. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Some shiny little glittery stuff on there and uh, make that up, especially for the lady shirts. We'll definitely do that. As a matter of fact, lady shirts will have white bling. Men's will just be plain. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But get yours today and support the movement. All this, the rest of the season, the rest of the season of 2019 daily. Pray this with me. Heavenly Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we commit to you that every day we will work toward restoring one person Every day that, Lord, they can they can find you as their personal Lord and Savior. They can find you as their Lord of Lords, their King of Kings. And, Lord, not because of anything that we can do, but just because we can restore with a spirit of gentleness and with love that they can come to you and find you as their personal Lord and Savior. So thank you, Lord, for our commitment. And thank you, for Lord, for receiving it. And thank you for holding us accountable. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Heavenly Father, God, we want to thank you for this broadcast today, Lord, that as the word has went forth, we know it won't return void because it's alive in us today. And Lord, it is living and powerful. And Lord, we will speak your word to give existence into others that your love can be spread. 
that we thank you today that we're not the same. We thank you that we're changed. We thank you that we're rearranged. And we thank you that we're transformed by the renewing of our minds because it's our reasonable service to show your perfect and good will. So have your way. We open up the portion room right now and ask our covenant partners to sow. No, not no money. Not a, not a cash app link. Not in, And you can sow into this ministry. There's many ways. Cash app link and on PayPal. But sow into the portion room free gifts that God is, is somewhere we give. We just ask him, Lord, can we play? We know you got it all. But can we give something that you would bless immediately? And we don't even put names on it unless he tells us to have somebody jump in. Somebody to dive in, somebody to take over, just get in. But we give freely that the Lord will bless freely to those that are in need right now. We, we, we pray for immediate miracles, immediate transformations, immediate deliverance. But most of all, immediate salvation and immediate restoration. I bring in, I'm working on my 10 million minds still. Come on, no more sanity, no more Alzheimer's. Come off of those psych drugs. Get off of that free check. Get a business. Oh, grow it right now. Come on back. No more Alzheimer's. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more craziness. No more insanity. But we bring back sanity into the man's mind in the name of Jesus. I bind the attack of the enemy to kill, steal, and destroy the minds of God's people. I pray right now that restoration is being showered all over this world. That people are coming, running to Christ now saying, oh Lord, oh Lord, be my father, be my guide. I want to be your personal servant, right? Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, pull them in. Pull them in in the name of Jesus. Pull them in in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose and know that God is awesome. Amen. Well, family, God bless you today. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back Monday, uh, 9 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Uh, Central, and 12 noon on the East Coast. Four, wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. We enjoy you all, and we love you all. God bless you. On Facebook, you already know. You already know. Pastor E going to give you all that, y'all. This